So hey, what's going on guys? Um, there was a comment that somebody had posted about they would like to see my hood close uh, with the setup that I have as far as the custom charge pipe that um, I, I did uh, with the blow off valve. Um, the hood does close from the video. It doesn't look like it will uh because of how the piping comes up and is angled there's no stress on the hood no dent in the hood um but while i'm sitting in my car i will show you that my hood is actually closed and i figured i'd just do the video and show you some of the things you're gonna have to look for as well the hood pops as it should as normal um and One of the things you will run into that if you don't do it correctly, you'll have an issue where it starts to scratch your hood um, and may cause it to be a tight where you actually have to put some force into it to close the hood. But um, the front T-bolt connector or T-clamp, um, you wanna have that down so then it's just a smooth part here. Um, the back ones you can get away with it because of the, how the indentation of the hood is um, And it actually like dips down into the back so you can get away with it there But the piping actually comes up a little higher in the front here. So it would actually rub on like This section of the hood. So once I figured that out I just flipped it and I haven't had any rubbing um, of that particular clamp on my hood at all. So uh, with that being said, I will go ahead and remove my hood prop and hood closes just fine. Um, I'm sure if you use like a longer um, coupling, you may have an issue where you might run into it not closing. If you do, just, uh, my suggestion would be trim back a little bit and you might be all right with it. Uh, so if there's any other questions or comments or anything, or you're curious, uh, feel free to ask. I have no problem uh, doing a video. Um, I try to be as helpful as I can in them and, and as detailed as possible in them um, to help you guys if you're looking to do something to change the overall look of your motor, your Jetta or add lighting or whatever whatever the situation may be that you're trying to do um so i mean i'm always down to answer any question or uh maybe point you in the right direction of you know this is how you might want to do it or um how i would go about doing it so uh the only other thing i've done i did eliminate my silencer which is behind the o2 sensor on the exhaust if you're under the car You'll see it, it's a big canister looking thing. Um, took that out because of it being behind the O2 sensor. There's no O2 sensor in it. So you can actually go from where the O2 sensor is straight back into a muffler. And basically you would just have your downpipe. And then everything else is straight back. I've not gotten a check engine light with that. Um, the, the car does sound a lot better. I'm going to be doing a drive video of the blow-off valve engaging. Um, once I get the GoPro uh, situated and everything to how I want it to be positioned. And then I'll also do another video, mesh them up together of how the exhaust sounds now. Being straight back, um, no silencer and the resonator delete and an aftermarket muffler. Um, the other thing I did was I got rid of the, the front Volkswagen symbol completely. I plasti dipped over that and, uh, well, before I plasti dipped, put wax paper down, traced the, the outline of the VNW, and then the remaining symbol and took it to white vinyl and made my own Volkswagen symbol. Then I plasti dipped the original badge and laid the vinyl layover over it. So now I have a white Volkswagen symbol 
compared to like the silver one, um, which um, having the white one up front also matches what I did in the rear. Uh, to the rear Volkswagen symbol, just plasti dip that white, um, and then you can actually peel the end part out because it's already black. And then you could just get rid of that and uh, won't have any issue there. It'll just be a white with black lettering or whatever color you choose to do. I was going to do the front one just complete black, but it would just look like a black hole there. So I decided to mix it up and do something different. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And always uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you or talk to you on your next comment or the next video I upload. Once again, thanks for watching.